Okay, so in uh, C++20, there will be this new thing, which is called a span. And um, it's just um, um, a reference to a contiguous block of memory. And we have been using something basically exactly like this for quite a while. And we use it like really a lot and uh, it's really great. But sometimes it's not enough for the use case. And one example uh, to show what I mean is, let's say we want to build a particle system and we have this two components per particle, like position and speed. Uh, we have these two operations, we translate them, we want to compute the density. And there are two problems, and that is density does not need the speed and the translation does not change it and neither of those facts is expressed in those functional signatures. Um, the other problem is that the memory layer is like interleaved and the density which does not use the speed will just waste 50% of the cache. The obvious solution is you just change the layout and kind of put them separate. There might also be other reasons to go for a layout like this. For example, you want to you might want to put one in ROM instead of RAM. So the question is how to write it. So if you write it with, with a span, you will end up with something like this, which does solve all those problems, but creates a new one, and this is that we are now passing two sizes to the translate function. And that means we somehow need to decide what to do. Like, do we need to like check are they the same, and what do we do if they're, if they're not? And um, so how could we maybe express this constraint in the type or in, in the signature? What we came up with is multi-span. So it's basically just a collection of spans that uh, are of different, of different type, but are guaranteed to have the same size and also just store the size once. And um, this basically solves the problems. Um, so what can you do with it? So first of all, you need to create it. Um, you create it from multiple uh, chunks of different type, same size. You can get the different individual spans back out of it. You can like sub slice all at once in parallel. Um, and the maybe most interesting operation is that this will convert to a multi-span that is that has a like subset of the original types. So if I would add another component to my particle, like color or whatever, then I could still pass it to my translate function and it will just not have the component I don't need. And that is the idea. It was yes, yes. So yeah. So the question was, do they need to be distinct? And the answer is yes. And even you can't have uh, the same one const and non-const. So for us, it has been very useful um, and made some of this code that deals with a lot of those uh, buffers and some of them are same size, some of them are not uh, quite a bit simpler. Thank you.